What's up YouTube, back again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a new jacket that I acquired on Christmas day. Shout out to my girl. She got me this for Christmas and I am very excited about it. It is a starter pullover jacket. It's a replica, it's a new age one. So brand new with tags. So she knows I love these vintage starter jackets. She knows I love vintage. She knows I love starter. She knows it's my favorite old school sports brand. So when starter dropped these and I first saw this in store, the funny thing was she was the one that pointed it out saying, look, isn't that what you like? And I said, yo, this is dope. Like this is really, really dope. And she went ahead and got this for me for Christmas. So shout outs to her. I mean, she knows my style, she knows what I like. And she told me it's not the original, but hey, it's close enough, it's brand new. So like, what can I say? This is fire. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a comparison video to an original old school starter jacket, pullover and compare it to the new age. I'm gonna be showing you guys the differences and the, you know, the similarities between the two. So yeah. Let's get it. All right, guys. So as we take a look at both jackets, you can see there is a major difference when it comes to this, the material. So one thing I noticed about the new age starter ones is it's very light, very, very light. It's real that the nylon is very, really thin, very lightweight. As far as the old school ones, you could see big time that it's, a puffer jacket so that's the one difference that i noticed in these new ones i mean as you guys clearly see this one has a lot of wear it's an old school one i mean you're not going to really find any brand new ones if you're lucky and if you do well you're going to pay up the ass for it but as far as this one goes starter did an amazing job replicating the original i think it's fire i know a lot of people are uh you know, they're a little bit picky and crazy when it comes to these things. And they're like, oh, I don't mess with starter. I only I only mess with the old school ones. It's like Mitchell and Ness. You guys, a lot of these guys out here don't rock Mitchell and Ness because they only rock the originals. And that's okay. You guys have your reasons. Everybody's different. Me personally, I don't care. If, it's, if it looks dope, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. All right. So right off the bat, I'm going to show you guys the tag. We have our, this is what the new starter jackets look like tagging wise and of course everybody knows what the old school ones look like it's blue all right so as you can see this one's a size medium and this one's a size large as far as sizing goes the newer ones are definitely more of a uh almost a true to size fit as far as the old school ones well i mean again i know people are different but for me personally the old school ones it seems like i have to go like two sizes down just for it to fit because these puffer jackets are so big so that's one difference between them and as you can see a similarity right here we have the starter zipper we got the collar we got the drawstrings we have our hood and we have our collar as far as the new one, same thing. We have our hood, the collar on the back. We have our drawstrings, which are a little bit shorter than the original. We have a nice starter thing right there, the zipper. I forgot what you call that, sorry guys. And as far as we go to the front pocket, it's the same thing velcro it's a big ass pocket right here and it even has another set right here which is dope because on the original the same thing front pocket and it also has another set of pocket right here so that's really dope now let's take a look at the arm where it says starter really really nice this is our retail tags And as we go ahead and look at the original, same thing, starter. Now, as we take a look at the cuffs on the on the arm of the of the sleeve, you can see that this one is obviously worn a little bit, but 
it's really really thick and as you go to the newer one it's much more grippable on your arm and comfortable so really really dope and as you look at the side panels right here same thing as the old school one so again starter did an amazing job in my opinion replicating these old school jackets i know they're starting to come out with the they came out with the satin jackets trying to bring back that old school vibe but again it's pretty pretty dope in my opinion as we go ahead and take a look at the back we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna see another difference on the new one so as we take a look at the back we have our raider shield right here this is not even i think it's heat pressed it's like a heat press again this is like a nylon patch it's not embroidered or anything it's still cool though but obviously on the old school jackets same scenario but the difference is we don't have a tm on the new ones and we also don't have a starter logo on the back as well and another thing too the old school ones tend to have you know your sport patch on the side whether it's hockey football and on this one it does not have that all right so as far as you know between the two obviously you know old school you're gonna always pick the old school because that's the best way to go but again when you get these new replicated ones they're dope but it all it just depends on you personally again me personally i don't care i'll rock anything that looks cool if it fits good if it looks cool if it's clean i'm gonna rock it all right so that's my comparison oh wait i almost forgot i gotta show you guys the inside the all right so as far as the inside goes it's a silver material and we also have the side zipper too how could i forget that and on the old school one same thing but the difference is is this one has stitching inside and it has a nice beautiful puffy pattern inside all right and we also have our side zippers as well the side zipper is usually on the right side of every windbreaker you get or i know i'm sorry the left side and it also says starter on the zipper too. Really interesting. All right, so yeah. And there's no stitching in this one as well. It's just plain. All right, so that's it for this comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What are your thoughts? What do you guys think? What do you think is a better version? Let me know. I'm curious. So I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.